Good evening, everyone. We're going to call the meeting to order. Today is June 27th, 2022, and this is a legislative session for the Salisbury City Council. A couple of announcements. Uh, in case of emergency, uh, everyone, please, uh, we ask that you calmly uh, get up and proceed to the exit. Uh, I would suggest going down, taking a right and going down the stairs. If that's blocked, take a left. You have to go around the corner by the executive's office and the bathrooms and take those stairs. Um, please do not use the elevator. If anyone needs assistance, please ask. And uh, we ask that some help those that, that do need assistance, please. Um, secondly, if uh, you uh, would like to make a comment tonight in our public comment section, we have uh, uh, some forms over there to fill out so that you may uh, make a public comment and if you were on zoom as everybody can see mr. Ron Pagano on zoom uh, he may communicate in the chat to our deputy city administrator Andy Kitzrow and uh, Andy will let you uh, at that time to make a comment if you wish to make one mr. Pagano I don't see anybody else up there we just have a big screen of you buddy uh, so. <laughs> So at this time, uh, if everyone would please rise and for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, we have with us tonight Bishop J. Anthony Dickerson from the Greater Mount Olive Full Gospel Baptist Church who will providing us with our invocation. Bishop. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day because this is the day that you've made and we will rejoice and be glad. And Father, we pray and we invite you to come in the midst of the city council meeting. Lord, we pray that everything that's said and done in the spirit of excellence. And God, we pray, God, that you are God of order. So we pray that everything will be done in decency and order. And everything that is done, it will be done to glorify you. Lord, let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. It is in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. And we have a presentation tonight, Mr. or Mayor Day. Uh, you have the floor, sir. Well, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, we, you can, you can tell the room is filled with friends tonight. And uh, um, I haven't yet gotten my blue Tech Tiger shirt, but, um, but that apparently is the uniform of the evening. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. No, no, no. You're good, you're good, you're good. Um, so look, uh, um, we, want to, uh, we want to acknowledge a group of truly exceptional young people tonight um, who have achieved uh, what is uh, really a, a rarity in our community, which is um, qualifying for and winning awards at the World Vex Robotics Championship. And this group is called Tech Tigers, as you can see on the shirt. And um, these are our young people who have demonstrated not only their, uh, their ingenuity, not only their inte uh, intellect, not only their capability uh, in a technical capacity, but their ability to work together as a team and to go on the world stage and demonstrate that capability. And um, I think, they, first of all, I think they deserve a round of applause. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask them to come up and join me um, over here. And um, if you would, when I call your name, if you would actually uh, come line up behind Councilwoman Blake right there. And we're going to kind of line up behind the council members, okay? And then we're going to get a big group photo. Sound good? Okay. Including coaches. Um, so first, um, and, and each of these certificates of recognition that I'm going to hand you as you come by, it uh, reads as follows. Certificate of recognition presented to each of you of the Wicomico County Robotics Club from the city of Salisbury in, appreci in appreciation of your accomplishments as a member of the Wicomico County Robotics Club of qualifying for the VEX Robotics World Championship of 2022 
winning the Design and Finalist Awards at the 2022 Delmarva Regional Championship. A witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and seal of the City of Salisbury this 27th day of June, 2022, signed myself. So first, uh, Mike Wong. Yeah, there we go. And you got jackets too. Oh, I, I need a hoodie. I need a hoodie. You got jacket. I do. I want one of those too. A hoodie. All right, David Meyer. Hello. How you doing, bud? Not here tonight. Okay. All right. Rajit Chakraborty. Rajit. Abraham Gadam. Caden <laughs> Pavis. Did I get did I get your last name right? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Tristan Pavis. Ava Pavis. You go, girl. You go, girl. You know what they say about the family that builds robots together. <laughs> Ryan Ando. Nice. Siddharth Ghosh. And Abraham Thomas. So did anybody use a Raspberry Pi to build a robot? No. Still a Raspberry Pi. Sneak trust, you can yeah. be twin okay. flag. Right. Oh, yeah. You no, might need to tighten up just a little bit okay. between the flags. You can do sideways like we're at a wedding. There you go. We're good. We're good. Oh, yeah. No, we can definitely. We can definitely fix it. There we go. Holding it in. <laughs> <laughs> Phone to look at. I know, right? It's like, all right, five, one, two, three. There you go. Awesome. There you go. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Senior, who's a senior? Ah, uh, there we go. Who's a senior? Where are you off to? What's next? I've got two specials out there for Okay. So if we don't make it next year, we'll know him for <laughs> you guys are good to go? You can grab a seat. Yep. yep. Thank you so much. Great, Thank great you. job, everybody. Good job. Good job. Fantastic. Good job. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good job. And one girl. I have a new one. That's a smart name. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Stay and watch government in action. All right, so at this time, I'll uh, entertain a motion to adopt the legislative agenda. So moved. Second. Yeah. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. So moved. Second. Ms. Nichols. Good evening. 
on the consent agenda tonight, we have the April 19th, 2022 budget work session minutes, April 21st and May 17th, 2022 budget work session minutes, May 23rd, council meeting minutes, and we have three, uh, we actually have four committee appointments tonight, three um, for the Disability Advisory Committee. Um, they are resolution number 3174, approving the appointment of Michelle Hahn um, to the Disability Advisory Committee for term ending June 2025. Resolution number 3175, approving the appointment of Ivy McIntyre to the Disability Advisory Committee for the term ending June 2025. And resolution number 3176, approving the appointment of Ron Pagano to the Disability Advisory Committee for the same term ending. Resolution number 3177 is approving the appointment of Charlie Sager to the Sustainability Advisory Committee for term ending June 2025. And that's it. Questions or comments? None. Okay. Uh, all those in favor of approving the consent agenda, please sing, signify by saying aye. Aye. And the chair votes aye. Thank you. Uh, is Michelle Hahn here? Mm -hmm. Ivy McIntyre? Ron Pagano? He's, He's on Zoom. Yeah. Zoom. Charlie Sager? No? Well, Charlie's on Zoom also. He's on Zoom? Okay. Well, Michelle? Ron, Charlie, we thank you all for uh, volunteering uh, for, for uh, these committees. Uh, they do a lot of important work. They provide a lot of good advice to the mayor and the council on, on a variety of issues. And uh, it's, it's, it's vitally important in speaking to, to the, the tech tigers in the back. Uh, you know, when you guys grow up and you become involved in your community, uh, whatever town you live in, whatever county you live in, it's always important to serve your community. And there's many ways you can do it. And serving on committees such as this, uh, that it's, it's always a need. Uh, so we thank you all for your service, setting an example for the next generation. So, so thank you. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to approve resolution number 3178. So moved. Second. Mr. Kitzrow. Good evening. Uh, resolution number 3178. A resolution of the City of Salisbury making a declaration of official intent regarding the city's responsible expectations to reimburse from proceeds of a future borrowing project expenditures made in connection with two separate projects generally identified as Computer Aided Dispatch CAD replacement and Station 16 HVAC replacement. Whereas the City of Salisbury Municipal Corporation of the State of Maryland is in the process of undertaking two separate projects generally identified as Computer Aid Dispatch Replacement and Station 16 HVAC Replacement. And whereas the City anticipates borrowing money for costs of the projects, such borrowing to be evidenced by one or more series of general obligation bonds or other evidences of indebtedness should be issued by the city, and whereas the city re reasonably expects to spend city funds on costs of the project prior to the issuance of the bonds, and further expects to reimburse the city from the proceeds of the bonds for all or portions of such previously paid costs of the project, and or to use proceeds of the bond to, to, excuse me, to refinance all or a portion of any interim borrowing incurred by the city that is applied to reimburse the city for prior expenditures relating to the projects. And whereas section 1.150-2 of the U.S. Treasury reg regulations provides that a local government funding original expenditures intended to be reimbursed from their proceeds of obligations must make a declaration of official intent in order to qualify such original expenditures for reimbursements from a reimbursement bond, all within the meaning of a reimbursement regulations. And whereas the city is an issuer for purposes of the reimbursement regulations and wishes to adopt this resolution for the purpose of evidencing the clear and official intent of the city to reimburse from reimbursement bonds, proceeds, and original expenditures made in connection with the projects. Section one, now therefore be resolved by the city council of the city of Salisbury, Maryland, that the recitals to this resolutions are deemed 
substantive part of this resolution and incorporated by reference herein in capitalized terms redefined, excuse me, defined in the recitals to this resolution and are not otherwise defined herein will have the meanings given to such terms in the recitals here too. The names used for the projects in this resolution are the names to be which the projects are generally identified in the applicable budget materials of the city for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2022 and ending June 30, 2023. It is hereby expressly recognized that the expenditures for the projects and indoor insurance of the bonds are interim financially incurred in anticipation of any bonds may occur in the fiscal year subsequent to fiscal year 2023. References in this resolution to either such project shall be deemed to I be to such project as to be by referred to similar but not the excuse me not the exact same name in the applicable city budgetary materials, including any capital improvement plan and to include any changes in the scope of activities of such projects and or the name of such projects made by the city in accordance with applicable law, including in future fiscal years. References in this resolution to costs of the project shall be deemed to be expenditures that constitute capital expenditures and to the extent applicable cost of issuance of the borrowing related to the projects and capitalized interests. Section two, be it further resolved that in accordance with the reimbursement regulation, the city hereby makes this declaration of its reasonable expectation to expend money on costs of the project prior to the issuance of the bonds and to use proceeds of the bonds, which bonds and are interim financially qualify as a reimbursement bond for purposes of the reimbursement regulations to reimburse all or portions of such original expenditures made with respect to the projects. This resolution is intended to be a declaration of official intent within the meaning of reimbursement regulations. Section three, and be it further resolved that the maximum principal amount of the bonds to be issued for each project is identified on schedule A, attached hereto incorporated by reference herein. Section four, and be it further resolved that the provisions of this resolution shall be liberally construed in order to effectuate the purposes of this resolution. Finally, section five, and be it further resolved that this resolution shall become effective upon adoption by the council and approval by the mayor pursuant to charter section SC 7-46A. This resolution may not be petitioned to referendum. Thank you. Questions or comments? None. None? All those in favor of approving resolution number 3178, please signify by saying aye. Aye. And the chair votes aye. I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2729 for second reading. This is amending chapter 5.64 of the Salisbury City Code uh, entitled Towing Companies. So moved. Second. It's Conyer. You are up. Good evening, Mayor, and good evening, Council. Mm -hmm. I was joking earlier that I've been pulled off the bench to cover <laughs> for Ms. Boucher tonight. Um, I have the pleasure of um, doing the second reading of Ordinance Number 2729, an ordinance of the City of Salisbury amending Chapter 5.64 of the Salisbury City Code entitled Towing Companies to update procedures for dispatching police-directed towing, operations of a police-directed tow on scene, and penalties for violations of the code. Uh, because this is a second reading, tonight I will only be highlighting changes and amendments that were made since the first reading. My understanding is that legal made these changes pursuant to council's request um, to one, eliminate oversight of accident tows, um, and two, um, so that the changes would properly reflect your discussions with the tow operators. So what I will do is I will reference the page number and the line to direct your attention to the changes. I will then read what's stricken or what is new. So on page three of the ordinance at line 104 and 105, we have new language which states that following the suspension, the tow company shall be placed back into the tow list rotation at the bottom of the existing list. Also on page three, lines 134 and 135 have been stricken. This stricken material continues onto page four 
all the way through lines 143. The language that has been stricken is the following. A non-reusable cleanup materials fee may be charged and a copy of the purchase invoice for the non-reusable cleanup material must be kept on file and examination and available for examination for two years. This fee is intended to offset the cost of single-use materials used to clean up the scene of the accident and to remove accident-related debris. A non-reusable cleanup materials fee may be assessed no more than once per tow call. This fee shall be established from time to time by ordinance. If additional labor is essential or required <clears throat> and or required for roadway cleanup, such additional labor shall be provided by the licensed towing company. An invoice detailing the reason for the necessity of the labor and the type of work conducted shall be kept on file and available by, for examination for two years. This fee shall be established from time to time by ordinance. Again, that language has been stricken. On page four, lines 173 through 177 also includes um, stricken language. That language that has been stricken is, if a vehicle must be wrapped in order to be safely transported, a licensed towing company may apply a self-adhesive film and charge a self-adhesive film wrap fee. This fee shall be established from time to time by ordinance. Photographic evidence of the self-adhesive film on the specified vehicle shall be kept on file with the invoice and available for inspection. Again, that language has been stricken. The remainder of the ordinance um, is still in effect as it was read first reader. Questions or comments? Motion to uh, accept as read. Is read? Okay. Second. Second. All those in favor of amending ordinance number 2729, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye on the amendment. The amendment is passed three to zero. All those in favor of any additional comments on the ordinance? No. no. Okay. All those in favor of approving uh, ordinance number 2729 on the second reading as amended, please signify by saying aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hold on a second. Uh, at this time, we will entertain public comments. Ms. Nichols, do we have any public comments? I have, have no requests. No requests for public comments. So we will move into, oh, hold on. I don't want to lose my directions. <laughs> At this time, I'll uh, turn this over to the administration for comments. Mr. Mayor. Uh, two, two things, briefly. Um, one, the... Um, we have not met since uh, June, since June 18th, um, and or the council has not met. Uh, so I wanted to just call attention to uh, what I think was a really excellent uh, job by community organizations, field operations department, police department, fire department, uh, and our new arts, business, and culture department in supporting and executing uh, the Juneteenth event downtown and uh, the Pride event uh, this weekend in downtown, which um, both well attended uh, parades, uh, which you know we are uh, we have not done a lot of parades in downtown. Uh, we've obviously did our, our first holiday parade this year uh, downtown since I don't know 1970. Yeah. Um, but we were born. But yeah, <laughs> but uh, really exceptional job, um, with the exception of a few heat related injuries. Um, you know, we had some uh, heat casualties this weekend. Uh, some people just had to get transported to the hospital and hydrated. Uh, with that exception, we had no incidents, great crowds, great turnout, um, and really impressive show from the community. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Gregory. Um, well, just... Uh want to reiterate what the mayor said. They were both great events. Uh, love to see so many crowds out and, and enjoying downtown. And, you know, the pride was a lot of fun. There was, there was a, lot of, a lot of glitter, a lot of glitter involved. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, uh, not much else going on. Uh, just as always, if you're healthy enough, please donate blood. The Eastern Shore continues to be in danger and having low supply. Thanks. I'll, I concur with the mayor and uh, Mrs. Gregory. Uh, the great ones, because we started it off with the Jay Copeland concert mm -hmm. uh, and then rolled into Juneteenth and, and the Pride Festival, and that was well attended. I mean, it was, it was packed. I mean, it was it was it was great to see that and talking to a lot of the vendors uh, that were at other pride events this month they said that by far ours was the most organized and most well attended so so that was uh, that was good to hear so uh, without anything else tonight uh, we will adjourn everyone have a good evening so